In my previous video, I developed a new feature in my 2D management application, which is based on Laravel version 8. So from the screen, you can see we have the due date and time in each item. It's working perfect now, but except the due date field is not cleaned up in a su successful operation. This is also the question I left to myself yesterday. Let me show you the issue. So I create a new item reading with a random due date save. Okay, you can see the item is saved, but the due date field is not cleaned up, which is not ideal. So let me go to the create to do template. I use a daytime picker component for the due date and time input. This is a custom component I developed by myself. This is a component. So we associate due date to this daytime picker component in the create to template like this. But when the server side reset the due date in the reset field function, the client side implementation is not aware of this change because we use flat picker plugin for daytime selection. This, uh, this is a JavaScript plugin. It's not aware of any Laravel component change. So this is why I call, I need a bi-directional binding in the component. This is also a topic, bi-directional binding. How can, we, how can we implement? Let me show you one thing before I start coding. Atom.js, this is a powerful JavaScript framework Livewire uses. So it gives you the, the ability to to implement reactive behavior on the page, which are very similar to Vue.js and uh, React. The other thing is entangle feature. This is a feature powered by LiveWow that gives you the ability to control the state of a component from client side and the server side. In other words, AppNGS and LiveWow can both control the component. Okay, let me start. I need to do two things. So for the data, data, data time picker component, in the AppNGS data, I want to set it to an uh, object. So I want to save the Livewell component property to this value field. In our case, that's a due date. We also need a variable for a flat picker instance. For now, if we, we, we set it to undefined as a default value. And next step in the init function, which, which is a AppNGS init uh, callback. This is a piece of JavaScript code. So what I can do here is I save the flag picker instance to an instance field. At the same time, I use watch directive to watch a value change of the Laravel component. The value is saved in value field. Okay, once it's changed, a callback should be invoked. In our case, we set the changed value of due date to the flat picker instance so that we achieve the bi-directional 
find it. Let's refresh a page. Okay, check out the console. Clean. Nothing there. Empty console. Perfect. No error. Mm. Okay, I want to add a writing item. And then do date. Okay, it's saved. The due date field is cleaned up. It's empty now. This is what I want. So you can see now by using AppJS and the Entangle feature of Livewire component, we achieve bi-directional binding. This is, this is very useful, especially when you want to use a front-end JavaScript plugin or framework so that they will, they will have no interaction between the client side and the Livewire component server side. So you can establish the binding between them by using Entangle feature and the AppJS. Okay, as usual, I'm also going to commit the code, make a PR, put it in the video description. Feel free to check it out, comment, and let me know if you have any question. Thanks for watching. See you next time.